First, Allah prays. People ask, if Jesus is God, why does he pray? I have to remind them that we're Trinitarians. Makes perfect sense for the Son to speak to the Father. Makes much less sense, given the Islamic concept of God, for Allah to pray. In Surah 33, verse 56 of the Quran, we read, Surely Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. O you who believe, pray for him and salute him with a worthy salutation. Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. Translators try to hide this by translating it as Allah and his angels send blessings or show mercy or they praise him. The problem here is that what it says Allah does is salah. And you know what that means. You know there are perfectly good Arabic ways of saying all of those other things. Every Arab speaker in the world knows that salah means prayer. And it says that Allah does salah. So, who is Allah praying to? He says, Allah says, uh, that Allah yusalli ala nabi And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. There's a difference between yusalli lahu and yusalli ala in the Arabic language. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. I knew it. And that's why the translators put for, not to the Prophet. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean. Don't hear, speak salah. Come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. In Surah 33, verse 56 of the Quran, we read, Surely Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. Surely Allah and his angels pray for the Prophet. And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. Pray for the Prophet. And he's here saying that he prays to the Prophet. For the Prophet. And that's why the translators put for, not to the Prophet. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean. Don't hear, speak salah. Just, come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. Oh, shit, my chest is gone. Oh.